Hi, I'm Chris Aversano, President of Connecticut Maritime Association. I also work for Q88.com as a product manager. Well, I think there are two things that make the CMA trade show special. Firstly, is it's a place where business gets done, and that's fantastic, and it's always been that way from the beginning. But secondly, the CMA has always been a social organization, and it's a place where you can meet friends, new and old. I don't think that what we used to know as normal will continue. I think it'll be a new normal. What that'll look like, well, we're seeing it right now. But I, I know that I feel confident that with the shipping industry, we're going to adapt to whatever the new normal is. I think one of the most lasting effects is actually going to be uh, the ability for people to do their job from any place and their management to have the confidence that they're going to be as productive or more productive in that place. And of course, to me, that means digitization of various platforms and, and workflow. I think one of the biggest challenges, and not to put anything else uh, aside, I think one of the biggest challenges is getting out there and seeing clients uh, on a somewhat regular basis. There are still a lot of companies that don't allow that, but we do have great f things like Zoom or Skype that allow that connectivity, although it's still not the same as in person. That's what we hope that the CMA event brings to, brings to you is that in-person uh, feeling. I think there are two big areas that are going to help getting younger folks interested. One is decarbonization, because this is going to be something that not only impacts shipping, but impacts everything else. And two is the fact that we are going digital finally after so long. Uh, we are probably one of the last industries to really embrace uh, digital and, and, and as part of the normal workflow. And I think this appeals to, to younger folks. I think mentoring is extremely important. And it doesn't have to be formal mentoring where we sit down every hour, once a week. That's not necessarily. I think something as simple as, here's my email if you have a question. Answering that email, not letting it go for, month, for weeks and weeks, but actually answering it as if you were answering a colleague. Treating it as a little bit of a job, but not something that you feel so burdened by. Absolutely, I can give you a personal example. We have a lot of developers in, at Q88 who are much younger than I am. Um, and I always ask them when, I, when we talk about rolling out a new feature or something, well, what do you see? How should we be handling this? I don't have all the answers. And then we start a dialogue, and then I get to mentor them a little bit in shipping by telling them, this is how our clients are using it. How would you? roll this out to clients? What are other companies doing? And I think that that's uh, an interesting way of kind of fostering mentorship without forcing it down people's um, you know, throat and making it feel uncomfortable.